This week, the Condors released their schedule for the upcoming season, and 23 ABC's Stephen Hicks has more on the exciting details planned inside Condors Town. Stephen. Well, Jackie, yeah, it's the dead of summer. So what better to do than dream about that sheet of ice inside Rabobank Arena, as this year the Condors prepping for their 20th season in Bakersfield, and from planned promos to unplanned mishaps, there's certainly plenty to celebrate. To work in the front office of a minor league sports team, you need creativity. You can throw anything at the wall and, you know, sometimes people would say, no, we're not doing that. And sometimes people would go, wow, that's awesome. As the Condors prepare to celebrate 20 years of history. I don't even know where to start. We look back at some of those awesome moments. There's the specialty jerseys. The puppy shirt's my favorite jersey just because of, I love Seinfeld. From Abraham Lincoln jerseys bought by Keith Oberman to Michael Jackson night. We had all the players wearing one white glove. Through the years, it's been the same mind. Set. There's no such thing as a bad idea. In 2011, it was Charlie Sheen night. You bring a clean drug test, you get in for free. Sticks with the troubled movie star's face were handed out with tiger blood snow cones. Condors yeah. are winning tiger the tiger blood. blood. In 2012, the team offered Justin Bieber a contract. When I think hockey, I think Bakersfield. A move that got international attention. Next thing you know, we're getting phone calls from radio stations in Pittsburgh and Detroit and Toronto, and they're like, you did what? Like, yeah, he's probably not coming, but yeah, we offered. And then there's the moments on the ice. In 2008, Marty Raymond had one of the most classic head coaching meltdowns. He backs up and then he just, you know, gives it a hi -ya, and it's all over the ice. But without question, the most classic moment. When people think of us, they think of kind of that moment, I, I think. In 2013, an actual condor got loose during the national anthem. Like the anthem is still going on here. Like how are people not cracking up? And a video that still gets oh thousands of views on the team site every year. This is the greatest. Oh my seen. gosh. Finally, the product itself. Moving from the West Coast Hockey League to the ECHL, some of the team's best moments came during their 2014 playoff run. A game-time goal at the buzzer in Game 3 against Utah. I think the clock was off even when we scored. Later that year, the biggest endorsement of the team's growth came when the Oilers purchased the Condors and moved the team to the American Hockey League, a switch that's already produced so many moments. And Connor McDavid was here for a week. From the game's best player to the great one himself at last year's Outdoor Classic. Nobody probably ever thought that uh, we play an outdoor game in Bakersfield in January 40 years ago. A growth that's seen hockey stick here for two decades. Something anybody could have imagined what happened 20 years ago would turn into what it is now. A team rich with history that's ready to celebrate its past. And it's absolutely gone full circle with the Condors. The guys moving on to the NHL now. And last year we saw them playing with the, uh, the Oilers and scoring key goals in the Stanley Cup playoffs. But, Tim, you were in the arena for a lot of these moments. Yeah. Does one stand out? I mean, the Marty Raymond years were great because yeah. that guy was intimidating, one, to be a reporter and to interview him. But to see him on the, those nights where he's kicking over chairs <laughs> and throwing stuff, it was awesome. And that one, that was the big meltdown. But uh, he had a, he had a he lot had a of those this is what over the years. Yeah. I was going to say, too, it's cool because, you know, we talk about an NHL team coming yeah. into an office. They look at this kind of stuff if a team's having fun, if they're engaging their fans, yeah. if they're doing creative promos. And I think over the years that certainly paid off and perhaps maybe led to that deal. Absolutely. And the Oilers have said, you know, Condors, we trust what you're doing. Yeah. We're going to let you continue to do it. So certainly some more to come. Condors.